main computer. By God. Good day to you all, it's Kragham here, and may the 4th be with you. Yes, it's that special day for us all where we all get to celebrate being a massive nerd and loving Star Wars. So, for a little special treat, I thought what I would do is do a painting tutorial on how to paint one of these guys. Yes, it's a Stormtrooper. What do you have to say? Okay, so I think that's telling me what to do. Let's get on with how to paint this model then, shall we? First off, you want to do an Abaddon Black base coat layer just to lay the foundations for the model. Okay, so across the entire model, what we're going to do is we're going to apply a Dawnstone layer. So this will essentially give the model a bit of a tone to it for the recesses. So we're just going to slap that on for all over the model, really. Uh, make sure it's nice and solid when it's finished. Once the Dawnstone layer is completely all over the model, just let that dry and we'll go on to the next step of using a wash. So the next stage comes in with the Null Oil. So you're gonna give that a nice shake, 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 shake. And then basically this will help to give the recesses um, that kind of depth on the model. So with the non oil, what we're going to do is we're going to apply it to kind of the all the crevices essentially. So this is going to bring out the edging uh, on all of the kind of the panels. So I mean, I'm trying to keep it neat, but to be honest, you can kind of go over the entire model uh, with the the non oil. That just kind of make sure it's not too liberal. Uh, you don't want to kind of have any pooling in any areas. So as you can see, I kind of just I'm adding little bits in here and there but you'll you'll end up with a very messy model probably by the end So now the model is fully washed in null oil. You can see all over the kind of where it's catching in the kind of the, like the crevices and the corners and the edges. So what this will do is bring it out. What I normally do with my washers is instead of just letting the model let gravity take place, I will actually kind of turn the model upside down just so that the the wash has a bit more of a kind of chance to affect higher at like different areas and give an overall balance to it. Okay, so as you can see now, the wash is dried and you can see it's in all the, all the cracks and crevices. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start paneling out the actual main body of the model with white. For the white, we're gonna use a Corax white by a GW. Uh, this is a base paint, so it has a nice kind of solid thickness to it and doesn't necessarily always need too many coats doing so we're just gonna give that a shake as you can see I make sure to shake it very thoroughly when it comes to a white uh, whoops. Uh, but uh, yeah make sure you shake the Corax as best you can because this one will require a proper shake so the next step is basically the biggest step of this whole tutorial is blocking in the white panels across the model obviously with a stormtrooper there is a lot and i mean a lot of different separate panels you're going to have to kind of block in so it is a case of just perseverance and just painting and just being careful of your lines just so that you don't go over your kind of your shades and your kind of recesses uh, with white paint Fun little fact about the original Stormtrooper boots was that they actually were, funnily enough, black leather boots repainted white 
uh, for the original uh, original making of the film. So uh, yeah, the, there isn't actually real white leather boots out there. They were just painted white. Okay, so you can see now all the paneling is done. So what's now left to do is kind of the detailing. So you'll notice that I've left that strip on the helmet black. This is the reason because this is actually black. People always mistake this for white, but it's not. So the next bit you're gonna do is the shoulder pad, uh, the joints, and then kind of the uh, gun kind of holster as well on the side. Um, but yeah, so this is just kind of like the final touches. So for the shoulder pad, what we're gonna do is use Jokirio Orange from Games Workshop. This will apply a nice little layer, which is just that right tone, I think, for the shoulder pad from the original Stormtrooper armor. Next up, we're using Gorefall Brown to do the holster for the pistol. So now the two colors out of all the black and whites we're using uh, are now applied. What we're gonna do is fill in these joints um, around the model, kind of like where the legs meet and the arms meet, as well as the hands and the guns, uh, using Skaven Blight Dinge, uh, which is a dark gray. And then what we'll do is apply a Norn wash over the top of that to kind of give that dark tone within the joints. Once all the areas are done, you're ready to apply the Norn Oil Wash with a bit of a spot wash over each of these areas. Be careful how you apply the Norn Wash. You don't want it to kind of go over onto panels you've already done. So be very careful on your spot washing here using a smaller brush. Next, we're gonna add a seven series sepia wash to the shoulder pad. Next, we're gonna use Agrax Earthshade for the brown on the holster. So you just wanna apply this uh, liberally, but also make sure just to don't get it on any of the rest of the model. Uh, so try and do a bit of a spot wash on there as well uh, to give that little extra depth to the holster. And then we feel we'll be on to our final step. So the model looks finished now. It's clean, it's crisp, but for me, I think Stormtrooper, although yes, they do have them clean and crisp in the film at some points, these guys are out on the battlefield. So I wanna add a little bit of battle damage. So to do so, I'm gonna use Agrax Earthshade and Norn Oil combined together with a bit of a 50-50 mix uh, and then a bit of water in there as well to kind of water it down. And then we're gonna apply that on these edges and kind of in the recesses to give a little bit of depth and damage. And there we have it. So you can see the kind of how the wash has dried. So it's very subtly doubling it in, stippling it in there uh, to give that little extra depth. And with the Agrax and the Norn kind of combined, it gives a bit of a kind of like wear and tear effect to the model overall. So as you can see, that is it really. That's uh, the model finish. You could add highlights if you wanted. I'm not a fan of highlights myself, but I'm overall happy for this guy to go out there and stop that rebel scum. Uh, on the uh, on the battlefield so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, like i say if you've got any tips let me know and i'll be happy to add and there you have it <laughs>
That is how you paint a Stormtrooper in a little bit of battle damage added on to there as well. So what I will say now is I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was helpful for you. If you've got any thoughts on the uh, painting tutorial or have any ideas on what you think could change in any way, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I will be doing more of these as well because I do have all the Legion models to paint. So I think a little helpful tutorial will be quite nice for each one. So hopefully they'll be coming up very soon uh, with the Rebels and the uh, the Imperial Army as well. All I can say is let's hear the last thing from Bob, shall we? And then it's a goodbye. All right, let's go. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs>